Hi everybody, it's Chris Byberg, the director of the National House of Prayer. We're here today with MP Richard Bragdon, the chair of the uh, National Prayer Breakfast. He's from the riding of Tobique, Mactaquac in New Brunswick. And so it is such an honor to talk to Richard. We've had a great season uh, coming out of the National Prayer Breakfast and what a great time it was. You can tell I'm really still excited about it. And so I'm, we're here just to talk with, with Richard. And he said something to me a little bit uh, a, few weeks, a few months ago while we were prepping. And it had to do with a remnant. So you want to talk about the remnant here on the hill? Oh, man. It's exciting. And thank you so much, Chris. And I appreciate so much the work that you and, and Marilyn have done in, in preparing and helping out so much with our efforts at the National Prayer Breakfast. I want to commend you for the tremendous work on the prayer walk and the and the beautiful app that you've constructed about how people can pray at different points for various parts of, of the House of Commons and the Senate and members of Parliament and staff. So that's, that's on a side note, but it's so important to recognize the contribution the National House of Prayer makes, not just uh, obviously at National Prayer Breakfast time, but every day of the year yeah. in holding up our leaders from across the country at both the national and provincial levels. Yeah. We really do appreciate that. It means so much. It's comforting to know that good people like you are praying for us across the country. Yeah. And we ask that you continue to do so. And in regards to the remnant, uh, the backstory to that, I'll never forget. It was after the, the recent election that we had, the last election. And, you know, you're Sometimes you, you have things you hope to see change on, you hope to see positive momentum and direction on, and you, your heart can become overwhelmed, and yeah. you feel, wow, we're dealing with so many things, and I hope our country can go in a, uh, a better direction. And, and you can feel overwhelmed. But I felt like it was, I felt like the whisper of God's Holy Spirit in my heart. Not audibly, but I yeah. felt this impression so strongly. That it was like, Richard, I've never required a majority to bring about great change. Mm. I've only ever needed a remnant. That's good. And whether it was Esther who was strategically positioned yeah. for such a time as this to bring about a great change in her time, or whether it was Joseph who served as a governor yeah. in the heathen land but made provision yeah. for his people during a very severe drought period, or whether it was Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, or Nehemiah who built a wall, or Deborah who was a judge, yeah. or the disciples who turn the world upside down or right side up. It was always a handful, yeah. a group that got it and had faith in their hearts and were willing to seek after God. And really that's the command of Second Chronicles 7, 14. He yeah. said, if my people who are called by my name would humble themselves and pray and turn from their wicked ways, yeah. then I'll hear from heaven and I will heal their land. Yes. Lord. Well, I'm glad to say, Chris, I, I feel like we've got more than, than just a few, we have a remnant, a solid yeah. remnant across this country. Yeah. Many, many believers yeah. who are calling on the Lord on behalf of Canada and yeah. their leaders. Yeah. And I'm glad to report, yes, there's a nucleus of us that gather each week here on yeah. the Hill. Yeah. And we pray together. It's nonpartisan. It's not about left, right, or anything. It's about people who are people of faith that gather yeah. weekly in a non-threatening, nonpartisan atmosphere to read God's Word, yeah. to pray together. Yeah. And to challenge one another in the faith, to encourage one another, and to pray for our country. Yeah. And I think Canadians would be assured to know that there is a nucleus yeah. that is very much alive and well here on the Hill. Yeah. And I really feel like all he's ever needed yeah. was that handful, that remnant. And I believe God is raising up a remnant for this time. And we're part of it. So thank you for being a part of it. Thank yes. Sure. Thank you, Richard. And thank you. Those of you that are partnering with us in prayer, there are many, many streams across the nation, not just the National House of Prayer stream, there are many streams. So I just want to encourage you, stay on that wall, keep pressing in. Those prayers are making a difference in our nation. Well, I'm Chris Viberg, and this is our friend, Richard Bragdon, and we will see you next time. Bye for now.